Alright, so we're finally inside the Deku tree. Alright. Ooh, I got some Deku nuts. Set it to C and try throwing it. It will flash and stun the enemy. Alright. There we go. I got a stick. They're like, you get two items based on how you defeat them. Basically. But, yeah. Let's see, what's on these, um, grass? There's a rupee. <coughs> Alright, anyways. Nami, quiet. Oh, no, don't you d Dang it, really? Oh man, this is like, you know, the thing I have to deal with since, you know, I can't like, you know, freely control the camera. I have to like, Z-target every time. But that's fine, I guess. It's a Nintendo 64. There's nothing I can complain about, so yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there's a big chest. Ooh, yeah, I got the dungeon map. Press start to get into the subscreen. Look at the map subscreen. Blue chambers are places you have already visited. Your current location is the flashing room. Move the control stick up and down to select the floor to view. Alright, let's go check out what the map is, basically. Alright, so... There's like five floors. Three floors and two basement floors. So far we're on the first floor, and if we keep going higher, we will reach the second floor, and at the highest point, we'll reach the third floor. Look at this wall. The vines growing on it give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it, Perez. I would, but there's these, um, spatulas, and I really don't want to deal with them. Oh my god, let me go, please. Thank you. Yeah, this is why I need to, like, have the, um, Z targeting to, um, hold, but whatever, that's fine. You can open a door by standing in front of it and pressing the A button. Pay attention to what the, um, action icon says. That's the blue icon at the top of the screen. Right. Okay, I'm trapped. Alright. Where are you going? I'm just gonna sit right there. Ow, ow, ow! Forgive me, Master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold the control stick forward, you'll roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee you it will work, though, if the cliff is really, really high. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, try it if you are feeling bold. Wahaha! <laughs> Did it just crap out a heart? Okay. Whatever. Alright, so there's this floating platform. Ooh, there's a big chest. And what do I get? A fairy slingshot. Nice. Press the C button to take it out and hold it. As you hold C, you can aim with the control stick. Release the C button to release a Deku seed. If you want to shoot right away when you first press C, Hold down C a little longer to get a seed ready. Alright, cool. Well, let me check what's up there, cause... Oh, there's a small chest. Might as well take that. Ah, oh, it's a recovery heart. These just restore your own hearts. So far, I start off with three, but as you defeat bosses and find pieces of hearts, you can find, um, you know... You can, like, expand your heart, um capacity higher so that you can last longer and not die too easily. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go cut these um grass right here. Just got rupees though. Ooh. Got some Deku seeds. These are small hard seeds that you can use as bullets for your slingshot. Alright, cool. Okay, they just grow instantly. Well then. I remember they were cut just not too long ago, but whatever, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so let's just take care of these, um, Deku Slingshots. I mean, Deku Slingshots, what am I saying? Those Skullchilos over there. Whatever they're called, what are they? Skullwalchilos. Careful not to touch it. Okay. 
Alright, so this one's gonna be hard to reach, so I'm gonna have to manually aim. There we go. Ooh, can I get that rupee? Yes, I can. Now, let me see if there's anything else up, or, up over there. No, that's okay. Alright, let's just climb up this wall. Now, you can take either direction, but I'll go this way since I'm just that close to there. And I'm just gonna drop. Let's see. Um, oh, jeez. Hi there. There you go. I got some rupees. Alright. <clears throat> oh, hi. There you go. These are easy to kill if you just press the A button while Z targeting and then they'll be done at an instant. Okay, I'm trapped there, so... Hmm. Um, let me go equip the Deku stick. Uh, and I might as well equip the nuts, even though it's like, it doesn't really matter, but still. <laughs> okay, this is the exit, so I'll just leave this lit for now. By the way, is there anything other than that skull shot? No. There is a Deku Baba. So I'll just press this switch and get that big chest over there. Alright, so let me go open this. <coughs> Alright, I got a compass. That's nice. Now you can see the locations of many hidden things in the dungeon. Nice. Alright, so let me go take care of this, um... Great. Maybe I have to take care of it down below. Oh, jeez. There we go. Alright. There we go. Now that the Stiku Baba has been taken care of, and also that huge Skotula is saying, I might as well go get that small chest, see what it gives me. Oh, there's a gold Skotula right there. Nice, I got a recovery heart. Alright, I destroyed a gold Skotula. You got a token proving you destroyed it. And also, just let y'all know, I'm not gonna 100% this game, even though I've played this game countless of times, because much later on in this game, there's gonna be like a very few side quests where it's just going to be boring and annoying to deal with, and it's so much hassle that I don't wanna like do it, basically. Besides, I'm not gonna let the completionist inside me just, you know, get to me. I'm not going to, like, do all this and that and just, you know, 100%. Like, there are some games I will 100%, but, you know, I'm just not going to do it on every game I play. But, yeah. But anyways, we have finally reached the base floor of this um, dungeon. There's another gold sculpture to take care of. So let me just unlock myself properly and okay, don't Z target. Just just because you may think, oh, this is going to be easy to reach through, but no, actually, it's better to. It's kind of appropriate to do this manually. So yeah, I've got myself a second one. So that's pretty good. There is a chest here, but I need to like lift this up. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, there's another gold sculpture. Alright. I'll take care of it. Alright. Alright, let me just go climb up and go get that gold sculpture token thing right here. There we go. So that's three. Oh, why did I press A? Oh yeah, you can spam the B button to swim faster if you're swimming, so that's pretty neat. Even though it doesn't tell you in-game. Um, I think it does, but I'm not too sure. Alright, so... 
I guess the only way is to, like, press this button. I forgot to do so. I kind of ignored it for a bit. Alright. Cool. Now, let me go open this, um, small chest over here. And get myself a recovery heart. Alright, cool. Now, let's see. Alright, so we're gonna lift this, um, spider web here so that we can get to this door. Alright, we're gonna take care of this, um, Deku sprout thing, whatever. Well, it's not a sprout, those Deku things. Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never be my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is 2, 3, 1. 23 is number 1. Do you think I'm a traitor? Okay, so 23 is number one. I don't know the significance behind this, but whatever. I'll go find that out some other time. Don't know if it's a reference to something. But, you know, there are, like, reasons behind this. Whether it's, like, Japanese culture related or something from Nintendo. I don't know. After you get into the water, if you hold down the A button, you can dive. I bet there are some interesting things underwater. Alright, um, there's a button over here. And... Yeah, I guess there's nothing much else, so let's just go get that button pressed. Alright, so we have lowered the water. So now we just gotta get back to the surface, and then we gotta wait for this platform to get here. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna have to take care of this sculpture thing. There we go. Nice. Alright, got myself a rupee there. Stand next to this block and grab hold of it with the A button. While holding A, you can push or pull it. If you stand next to the block and press A while pressing up towards the block, you can climb on top of it. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Alright. So we're just gonna have to um, move this block up right over here so that we can climb it. And let's see. Some of these um grass. Oh, just more dicky seeds. All right. So we're gonna have to climb up to this door. And oh boy. Okay. There we go. <coughs> Okay, so those give me daily sticks, but I already have enough. So I guess I'll have to um light these um two torches that are unlit. Alright, cool. Now these grass have like rupees and seeds, so yeah, I guess there's nothing much else, so let's just keep going in through this dungeon. There you go. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, by the way, there's like... Those... Eggs right there, but if you destroy them... If I can get a proper aiming... Let's see, can I destroy them? Man, this is just... No, it doesn't seem like I can. I thought you could. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, so we're just gonna light these, um... This spider web, even though there's like... Yeah, okay. Anyways. I could pass through, but then these, um, eggs will fall down and hatch and then just try to own me, but... I used to be afraid of them when I was a little kid, because I don't want to, like, die so easily. But since I'm old enough, I guess I 
feel brave enough to just do it, but eh, better safe than sorry, then just take the safest path since the safest path was no hassle. Alright, so we made it here. There we go. Alright, cool. Alright, I don't need more sticks because I already have plenty. Uh oh, I got hit. Oh, whatever. Now we're just gonna um, push this block here. So that it may, may provide it as shortcut access up here. There we go. Now, let's see if I can get like any hearts from those grass. Yeah, we got heart. Alright, cool. So I should feel fine right now. Alright, so we're gonna have to climb up here. <clears throat> and then we're just going to light this stick up with the so that we can There we go. Now we gotta put this away. And there we go. We made it near the boss's room. Oh, dang it. You know what? Alright. We got him down. Alright, we got this one down. Alright. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Gamas to you. In order to administer the Coup de Grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's done. Oh, Queenie! Sorry about that. Alright. So he did leave the um, heart there in case I did get damage taken, but yeah. I guess there's no reason to just take the grass, but I might as well take a few rupees. Alright, so we are at the... Um... So let me go save, so... Let's go take on the boss, shall we? Oh, I see something up there. Uh-oh. There she is. Uh-oh, it just rolled its eyeball like that. Alright, so here is the first boss of the entire game, Goma. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? You're gonna be laying some eggs, I betcha. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Great. Okay. Alright, so here she comes. Come on. Oh, great. I'm just derping, like, you know, just doing backflips and just doing jump strikes. Oh my god, why can't I get a proper a great? Well, I'm just derping so hard, but whatever. I haven't played this game in, like, a few years ago. Oh, jeez! Alright. There we go! Pretty easy boss, but you know, hey, it's the first boss, they're supposed to be easy, unless you've never played a Zelda 3D game like this before, yeah, I would understand that, <laughs> but alright, anyways. So you get a heart container every time you defeat a boss in a dungeon. Your maximum life energy is increased by one heart, your life energy will be totally filled. Nice. So I guess that's it. We are done with the first dungeon, and now we are ready to just head out.